In this video, we'll create a PCB shield for the ESP32 CAM with a PR motion sensor and the BME280 temperature, humidity and pressure sensor. We'll create a Telegram bot for the ESP32 CAM that allows you to control your board from anywhere, to request a photo and sensor readings. Additionally, you'll receive a notification with a new photo whenever motion is detected. You can find all the resources needed to build this project in the links below this video. This project is sponsored by PCBWay. PCBWay is a full-featured printed circuit board manufacturing service. Turn your DIY breadboard circuits into professional PCBs. You can get 10 boards for approximately $5, plus shipping, which will vary depending on your country. This project consists of three parts. Designing and building the PCB shield, creating a Telegram bot, and finally programming the ESP32 CAM using Arduino IDE. The PCB shield is designed to be stacked to the ESP32 CAM, so if you want to use our PCB, you need the ESP32 CAM AI Thinker module board. We've replaced the original camera module with one with a longer ribbon. The shield consists of a BME. 280 sensor connect to GPIs 14 and 15. A mini PR motion sensor connect to GPI 13. 5 volt and ground pins to power up the shield and the ESP32 CAM. And other GPIOs if you want to add additional features. But we won't use them in this project. To control the ESP32 CAM, we'll create a Telegram bot that allows you to control and monitor your ESP32 CAM from anywhere as long as you have internet access in your smartphone. You can use the following commands to interact with your bot. Slash start sends a welcome message with the valid commands to control the shield. Slash flash toggles the ESP32 cam on board LED flash. Slash photo takes a new photo and sends it to your Telegram account. Slash readings requests the latest BME280 sensor readings. Additionally, you'll receive a notification with a photo whenever motion is detected. Finally, only you or any other authorized user can control the ESP32 CAM using Telegram. So let's get started. Before designing and building the PCB, it's important to test the circuit on a breadboard. If you don't want to make a PCB, you can still follow this project by assembling the circuit on a breadboard. Here's the schematic diagram for this project. After making sure everything works properly on a breadboard, we can design the PCB using any PCB design tool. To customize this PCB, you can download the files provided in the project page. Designing the circuit works like in any other circuit software tool. You place some components and you wire them together. Then, you assign each component to a footprint. Having the parts assigned, place each component. When you're happy with the layout, make all the connections and route your PCB. Save your project and export the Gerber files. Once you have your Gerber files, you can order the PCB. If you don't want to modify the PCB, you can go to the project page below and download the Gerber files provided. You can click the first link in the video description to go to the PCBWay website and open the PCB Instant Quote page. PCBWay can grab all the PCB details and automatically fill them for you. Use the Quick Order PCB Autofill parameters. Press the Add Gerber File button to upload the provided Gerber files. And that's it! You can also use the online Gerber viewer to check if your PCB is looking as it should. If you aren't in a hurry, you can lower your cost using the China Post shipping method. I think they overestimate the China Post shipping time. You can increase your PCB order quantity and change the solder mask color. I've ordered the blue color. Once you're ready, you can order the PCBs by clicking the Save to Cart button and click Complete your order. In less than a week, using the DHL shipping method, I received my PCBs. As I've said in a previous video, everything comes well packed 
and the PCBs are really high quality. I also received some gifts related to their 6th anniversary, and I would like to congratulate them. PCBWay has been an essential company that supports makers around the world building professional PCB projects. They also support some of your favorite YouTubers with their projects. Without PCBWay, some of the best projects post online wouldn't be available. Thanks again to PCBWay for everything they do for the maker community. The next step is soldering the components to the PCB. You just need to solder some other pins and then connect the PR motion sensor and the BME280 sensor to those pins. There's a list with all the components needed and where to buy them in the video description. Here's how the PCB shield looks like after assembling. It stacks perfectly to the ESP32 cam. Go to Google Play or App Store, download and install the Telegram app. To create a Telegram bot, search for Botfather and click the Botfather. Click the Start button. Type slash new bot and follow the instructions to create your bot. Give it a name and username. If your bot is successfully created, you'll receive a message with a link to access the bot and the bot token. Save the bot token because you'll need it later so that the ESP32 cam can interact with the bot. Now, in your Telegram account, search for ID bot. Start a conversation with that bot and type slash get ID. You will get a reply with your user ID. Save that user ID. We'll program the ESP32 board using Arduino ID so make sure you have the ESP32 board add-on installed. You also need to install the following libraries. Universal Telegram Bot Library, Arduino JSON, and BME280 SparkFun Library. After that, copy the code provided to your Arduino ID. To make it work for you, you need to insert your network credentials, your Telegram Bot token, and your Telegram user ID. Upload the code to your ESP32 CAM board. Read this guide if you don't know how to upload code to your board. Now, connect the PCB shield to your ESP32 CAM. Apply power, press the reset button, and it should be working. For a final solution, you can buy one of these cheap fake dummy cameras and put your project inside. And that's it. Let's test it. Send the command slash start to receive the commands list that you can use to control your board. Then, you can click on the commands. Send the slash photo command to receive a new photo taken with the ESP32 cam. If you want to receive sensor readings, send the slash readings command. Additionally, if it detects motion, it will send you a notification with a photo to your Telegram account. As you can see, everything is working as expected. We hope you found this project useful and you're able to build it yourself. You can program the PCB shield with a different code to suit your needs. And remember that if you don't have the PCB, it still works on a breadboard. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this video, make sure you click the like button. If you're new to the channel, consider subscribing and ring the bell for post notifications to catch my next ESP projects. Finally, make sure you visit randomnerdstutorials.com for the full step-by-step -step instructions and downloadable code. Just click the link in the video description. That's it for now and we'll see you in the next video.